Okay, so welcome back. Now, in the last video, we showed you the door just opening, very simple. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and add a simple trigger onto the wall. So for that, all we're going to do is uh, simply draw a brush. Uh, and we'll put it against the wall there. And we'll make it a, quite a bit smaller because that's a very big one. Uh, so we'll put that to that size. And we'll give it a texture that we can see very well. Uh, so it'll basically stick out. Um, let's have a look. We'll set it to this yellow metal so we can see that quite well. It stands out on the map. And then what we'll do is we'll draw a trigger brush in front of this. Uh, we'll just drag it across. Doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, but it may help out uh, later on when you're looking at the map, thinking, "What are all these lines? Why don't you know? What are they doing?" Uh, so what we'll do is we'll set that to a trigger texture, and then we'll right-click and we'll do trigger multiple, so it can be used multiple times, and then we'll go to the end and we'll say target. We want it to target the door. So we'll call it door. Okay, now we'll go to our door and we'll give that a target name. We'll say target name. And we'll call it door. And hit enter. And that should do it. That should be enough for us to set up that trigger. We can see the line going through the wall and that will open uh, this door. And what we'll do is we'll just put a light in here just so we can see what's going on. Uh, we'll set it with 500 as well. It's a bit, probably a bit bright for that small area, but yeah, we'll set it to that anyway. So we'll build that and take a look at it in the game um, and see what else we need to do to uh, make this usable. Because there's one thing I haven't done here and I haven't done it on purpose because I want to be able to show you uh, this problem. So we'll uh, catch up with you in the game. Okay, let's load up our map. And we'll just wait for that to load. Now we've set the trigger brush, so we should be able to see that over there. Just a little yellow looking box. We shoot at it. Nothing happens because we haven't made it uh, something you can shoot at. So we'll just wait for the spawn and we'll run over. And we'll hit the button. We see the door opening. Uh, so let's just stay out here, wait for the door to close. Now if I run up to the door, you'll see it doesn't open anymore. It has to be triggered from this button over here. Okay, and now if I stand here, because the door doesn't have a touch field, it's going to hurt me. And you can actually set damage amounts so that the door will actually just keep crushing you until it shuts. Because at the moment, you can see here, if this was a secret area, I could stand here or someone could stand here and just keep the door open for the other players on their team to run through, for example. We can set it so that it will crush anyone who happens to be caught in that door. So now we'll trigger this again. The door will open. And now we're inside the secret room. Now, oh crap, look at that. The door's shut. We can't get out. Now that's a problem. And you may not actually run into it when you test on a map. You may just go ahead and put all this in and not test the door functionality so much. Especially if there's only, it's a small room and there's one little gun in the corner. Um, but if you trigger a door on one side, you have to have a trigger on the other side. Um, now the reason for that is obviously you can't get out from this side. You could just set up a very simple trigger right in front of the door here. And that would very simply just make it so that when you run up to it from this side, it will automatically open. But to get into it from the other side, you need to press the button. So that's what I wanted to show you, and we'll rectify the problem in the editor. Okay, so welcome back into the editor. Now I've just shown you in the game that this door here is opened when you press this trigger brush. But once you're inside, you can't actually get back out unless you're quick enough to grab what you need to and run back out through the door. So there's a simple way we can rectify that. We could either add another trigger onto the wall at the side, or to make it even simpler, we can just add a, another brush here. We'll just add it in front of the door. And we'll uh, we'll stretch it so that it 
meets the whole width of it. And we'll just see it's already got our texture for trigger selected because we used that last time. Now we'll set that as a trigger. And we'll trigger multiple. And we'll give it a target door. And that's all we need to do. We've just fixed that problem. So if I build this again and head back into the game, you'll see that we can get out. So uh, let's do that then, shall we? Let's load up the map. Door map. Wrong way. Map door. Uh, heads. Uh, your head goes a bit weird when you're mapping. If you've been mapping all day, you start looking at things and thinking, well, how does that door know I'm coming up to it? Oh, there's a trigger. It's an automatic door. Yay. Uh, okay, so we know that we can't get through this door this way. You see that? I touched it. Well done. You found the secret area. Now, that shouldn't really happen. I should have deleted that message from the uh the door because we're triggering it this way so let's trigger it bam and we run, run through and the doors open and it closes now we should be able to run up to the door and it will open and let us out because we put the trigger brush just here let's have a look see that so just make sure that you trigger the doors um if you trigger it from one side you need to trigger it from the other as well now, obviously, one of the things here as well is that if this door starts coming towards me, I can run through and get it to open again. So it means that once the door's open, as people, if people are quick enough to run through, they can keep the door open. Uh, unless you were, as I say, to set it as a crusher, and in that case, it would crush whatever player tries to get in. But that's a simple door that's been triggered in three uh, ways. We've triggered it by a touch field. We've triggered it by that trigger over there on the wall. And we've also triggered it from the other side. So that'll just give you an idea of how triggers work. And now you know how to create a door as well. Which is uh, useful uh, in loads of maps. It sort of makes players go to certain areas. And it slows down their flow. If they come into a door and they have to walk through it. It gives players behind them a bit of a chance. So it really adds some cool dynamics to the map. But that's it for this tutorial. I'll catch up with you in the next video. Thanks very much.